That's what the Illinois State Museum egg collection sounds like when we open the drawers at the Research and Collection Center. Most of the eggs in the museum's collection date back to the turn of the century. Some were collected as far back as 1875. Things like that. Piliated woodpecker egg, for example. When birds received legal protection starting in 1918, egg collecting as a pastime slowly died out. When that happened, many collectors donated their egg collections to museums. The majority of the eggs in the Illinois State Museum collection were donated by R.M. Barnes, a judge who lived in Lake in Illinois. He was a well-known figure in the world of oology. He had an enormous collection, and the Illinois State Museum got only a part of it. Okay, this little book made in 1905, and it lists all the North American species. It gives a AOU number, which is a number that's usually printed on the egg, and that's how you can identify it. You look at that number and you look it up in this book and you can find out what species it was supposed to be. It says wild pigeon which means passenger pigeon and that 315 on there means that's the AOU number. If you look up see it this says 315 right there that's the AOU number and that 1 over 1 means there's one egg uh, from one clutch. A lot of factors enter into how much a, an egg is worth. Also tells you how much it was worth at that time. Hmm. For example, a passenger pigeon egg was worth twelve dollars, and and that was a lot of money in those days. Yeah, a California condor egg was worth two hundred and twenty-five dollars. That's were, were not only rare; they were hard to get to. The Illinois State Museum egg collection is invaluable and irreplaceable. Because the collection of eggs is no longer allowed by law, it would be impossible for us to replace the thousands of eggs housed in the museum. Even after a century, there is still a lot to learn from birds and their eggs in our collection.